The gates of the show grounds have opened to the public for the 92nd Agricultural and Commercial Show, which will be running from the 1st to 6th August 2018 under the theme Sustainable Economic Empowerment. Minister of Commerce, Trade and Industry Christopher Yaluma was at hand to tour some stands at the show grounds. Mr. Yaluma has special advice to foreign investors. When we say an investor coming from outside, there is defined scopes, defined areas where they can perform. And we don't want to see a foreign investor come and participate in a low level you know, uh, scope of providing a service or prov you know, uh, putting up a product which can be done by a Zambian. What is for Zambians, what is attainable to Zambians should be left for Zambians to do. The government ran an SI to ensure that specific, you know, uh, uh, jobs or services shouldn't be entered into by foreign, uh, foreign in investors, like selling beds at the market. Chicken. That is for Zambians. That's why they will thrive. If that is grabbed from them, then what are they going to do? It doesn't need skill. It is the lowest point of starting on to do business. So selling chickens, five or ten or hundred or thousand or two thousand, give that to Zambians. Then secondly, block making. Block making. Zambians can participate in two that. I'm seeing a lot of block making plants are not multi you know blocks making machines but reasonable which i can say is in a mediocre kind of level or range being done by foreigners now that we need foreigners to come and invest seriously and contribute seriously to building up this economy let them come in for those services which the scope of doing that is beyond the Zambians at this point in time, unless they're going to a joint venture together, then that could be deemed like, yes, they can participate. And community marketers for conservation, Kalum Wenzifune says, Moringa tree has very good nutrition to the human body. We have Moringa. Moringa, most people in the, in the village, they used to use it as a shed. Little did I know that this has a very um, nutritious component. They can eat it as a vegetable, uh, they can uh, use it uh, as firewood, the, the, the pots. Vegetables, the tender leaves, uh, the tender pots, people don't know that. You can have it as green leaves. And also they sell it to Kamako and then an income. The seed, it can be used as a water purifier. In the villages, yes, in the villages, they don't have access to clean water. A small-scale business trade from Kenya says Zambians should come in numbers to buy goods from them. I come from Kenya. Yeah, I'm a small-scale business lady promoting the artists of Kenya who make all that I have here by hand. Yes, they assemble together every Tuesday and Saturday in Nairobi, Kenya to sell wholesale to those of us who can come and expose what we are making. The expectation is that the Zambians will come out and buy these things because as they buy the items that are made by small-scale business people in Kenya, they are promoting the poor in Kenya because all these are made by hand, mainly by women, but also men are involved. The theme for this year's agricultural and commercial show, Sustainable Economic Empowerment, is just an expansion of last year's theme, promoting a green economy. No doubt farming can be that sustainable economic empowerment we need as a nation. Malangi Zombola, CBC News, Lusaka.